Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Valorant video on the Modic channel. I hope everybody's enjoyed their little break, their small break from Valorant that we have had because Valorant is officially releasing tomorrow as this video is releasing June 2nd, 2020. So I can't wait to get back into it. I can't wait to keep on producing content for it. But we just got our Valorant patch notes for the official release. So we're going to be checking it out during this video. And hopefully it looks as good as they've been hyping it up. So let's go ahead and get right into this. So right away we're getting into the gameplay and balance. So we have a Sage update. The healing orb cooldown has now increased from 35 seconds to 45 seconds. A ton of people were playing Sage, so they're probably just trying to make her not as chosen. And hopefully they're going to make it so that the other agents are chosen just as much as Sage was. So also the barrier orb, the segment health reduced from 1000 to 800. This means it's going to be way faster to get through that barrier orb. And also the duration was reduced from 40 seconds to 30 seconds. Friendly barrier orb walls now show on the minimap. That is great because like whenever you're rotating onto a site, you want to know which ways are blocked off and which ways you should go to. So now let's move on to raise. We have a change to the blast pack. Maximum damage radius reduced from two meters to one meter. They've realized that it was super strong and they didn't want people dying from it. So they made the change. And then with jet, I think we're getting some boosts here. The cloud burst duration. That's her smoke was increased from four seconds to seven seconds. So one of her main abilities was that smoke and people were using smokes from brimstone instead of hers just because they were so short. Also tailwind got an update and it automatically breaks ciphers trap wires after they're being briefly revealed. That's actually really crazy because it adds a nerf to cypher almost if you use jet. So it's going to be interesting to see jet in new team comps. Moving on to Phoenix, we have a big section here. So blaze duration increased from six to eight. This means that they felt like the wall was just too short. So they made it a bit longer. Also the damage 15 every 0.25 seconds, every fourth of a second was now increased to one every 0 0.03 seconds. I don't know if that's, that's less, right? I, I'm not good at math. Um, yeah, so that happened. And then blaze healing. Um, it's went from three seconds, every 0.25 seconds or three damage, every 0.25 seconds to one damage, every 0.16 damage. So these are updated to make their DOT abilities, uh, balanced. So it should be interesting to be playing him now. And then hot hands, the healing also changed, except it's one every 0 0.08 seconds. And so basically they made changes to all the healing just to balance everything out. Max flash is from 0.8 seconds to 1.1 seconds. Now you can be flashed a lot longer. And run it back automatically reloads all weapons on respawn. That's kind of crazy. So moving on to Omen, we're starting with Paranoia, which is now equipped instead of quick cast and hit detection impro improved, especially at close range. So the closer you are, the better that's going to work. Dark cover, Omen now enters a phaser world where he can see through walls to place his smokes and pressing reload toggles between phased and normal targeting. That's actually really interesting. And then dark cover controls have been updated where Omen can now increase smoke distance with a primary fire key, decrease it with secondary fire, and throw it with the ability key. So you just have to repress that ability. And then shrouded step, Omen can now see his teleport location on the map and receives an in-world indicator of where he's targeting when his visuals vision on the point is obstructed. So that's kind of cool. I guess they're just buffing Omen to hopefully get him played more. Then from the, from the shadows, Omen can now cancel his teleport while in shade form by pressing the ability key again. Omen still loses all his ult points if he cancels, but now you don't have to ult exactly where you were standing to kind of confuse the opponent. So moving on to our map updates, they're introducing a new map called Ascent. And Ascent is a map set in Italy that features a large open middle area that both teams can skirmish over. Mid is a playground for diverse ability use and successful controlling the area opens additional routes for attackers to both spike sites. As our new map for launch, Ascent will be slightly more common in our matchmaking rotation for the first few days so that you get more opportunities to play on the map. 
That's pretty crazy. And then also the devs were talking about earlier, and you're going to be able to close passageways to certain areas and open them. So that's kind of the specific match or game match thing that they have for this map. You know how um, Bind has teleporters. Haven has the three bomb sites. So that's pretty crazy. And then moving on to split changes, they restructured the mid choke points. So this is probably allowing the defenders to get a harder time and the, it's going to help the attackers out in the long run. And then Haven, Bind, Split, Ascent. They've expanded their new system that combats map exploits to all other maps. This will eradicate anyone trying to escape the play space. So now you cannot leave the map. And they continued to block spots for Cypher's spy cam that prevented counterplay as well. Huge thanks to everyone who helped them find that. And I'm not really happy with you guys because those Cypher cameras are crazy if you learn them. And then competitive mode update. Competitive mode will not be all out at launch. Some people are saying two weeks, uh, but who knows? We're just going to have to wait for more updates on that. And then ton of performance updates they've made it so that the fps's are better because i know that a ton of people were losing fps drops so they're just trying to limit that as much as possible moving on to quality of life dying to a non-enemy player will no longer grant ultimate points this includes dying to the spike fall damage teammates ability or your own ability and this basically ruins the whole idea where after you lost a pistol round, your whole team would kill themselves and you'd get the old points for it still. So that's actually really interesting that they added that. So this limits the amount of rounds you can just throw that second round. Okay, guys, so that wraps it up for this patch notes video. I'm really surprised that they didn't include anything about the brand new game mode coming but I guess we're just going to have to wait and see tomorrow morning as soon as it releases. It releases 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So be sure that you're awake for that because you are not going to want to miss the official release. We're getting a new Agent Reyna. We're getting a new map Ascent, which they talked about a bit. We also didn't get any information about Reyna in this, which is, again, very interesting that they left those two out. But we have a new game mode, new agent, new map. And then also a battle pass coming out. We're going to keep you guys up to date on every single change happening in Valorant. So be sure that you are subscribed with notifications on. Because we're also going to have a ton of tips and tricks videos releasing. To help you newer players get better at Valorant. That's going to wrap it up for me today. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.